OK, well, let's return now to our top story. Ministers in Brussels have signed off on a rescue package for Ireland worth 85 billion euros. Well, joining me now for some political analysis on this is uh, Brian Hayes. He is the public expenditure spokesperson at Fine Gael, the largest opposition party in the Irish Parliament. And he joins us now for, from Dublin. Uh, Mr Hayes, thank you very much for finding the time to join us. Um, this is a very difficult situation for the government. Uh, what would you be doing differently if you were in power right now? Well, it is a difficult situation. Uh, the crisis that we are in is down to the incompetence of the current government. And when we as an opposition party met with the IMF, the ECB and the Commission last week, I suppose the first point we made to them was, uh, can this be reviewed or renegotiated? And I think once the general economic parameters around the four or five year deal are in place, the ways and means of doing it is a matter for an incoming government. We've been clear about that. I think the area that we have most concern about concerning this deal is in relation to our National Pension Reserve Fund money, uh, which was Irish taxpayers' money put aside for a rainy day, effectively. Now it would seem that this is now going to go back into the banks to be recapitalised again. And I think people are really astonished by that, given the fact that without that money, we will find it difficult to grow and stimulate the economy over the coming years. But, but presumably this wasn't something that anybody in Ireland wanted to do. This was some, something that was, uh, that was forced upon the Irish uh, state by uh, the IMF and the EU. I mean, they're, what they're saying is that Ireland needs to come up with some of the money itself. I and mean, where else would you come up with that money if you didn't take it from the pension fund? Well, of course, there is a fiscal correction in this country that we have got to resolve. Uh, and there is broad uh, political consensus about the necessity for six billion adjustment next year mm. and arriving at the 3% deficit by uh, 2015. Uh, but there is a sense also in the country uh, that we have a bad deal here, that this, this deal was foisted upon us, uh, particularly through the European Commission and the comments that have been made over the course of the last number of weeks, particularly by the German Chancellor, have made the situation even worse for us. And there is also a sense that this is the, uh, the last battle where the uh, future of the euro will be determined. So a number of issues here really go to making up this situation. I think what the Irish people want is, some, is an end of the crisis, but they also want to have their say by way of the ballot box. They want to vote on this issue. And I think it's important that the issue is resolved in terms of the financial stability. We seem to have some financial stability now on that. The question of whether we can afford this is another matter. But I also think what we need is an early election where a new government would be given a clear mandate. That, more than anything, would send out a strong international signal to the markets uh, that we have now a competent group of people to run this country as against the economic illiterates who've been running it for the last 13 years. Indeed, but what would be interesting is to find out exactly what you would do differently, because really you are, uh, your, your hands are tied in a sense. You've been talking about um, the, the uh, tax hikes that you don't agree with, but only 45% of earners pay tax uh, in Ireland. Uh, is that something that you wouldn't want to change? We need to broaden the tax base. There, there, there is no argument about that. Uh, but I've never known any economic recovery in the world where you tax people out of that recovery. Uh, we would, I think, be stronger when it comes to the issue of public sector reform. Uh, the government's four-year targets in taking t about 14,000 out of the public sector are totally unambitious, in our view. Uh, we would go to about 30,000 there. Okay. And we have a radical view about how we would use the existing semi-state organisations okay, to provide the kind of stimulus to, to get there. this Thank you very much indeed. Again.